Hi, this video is going to be a quick introduction to email mail merge. Uh, to do this, you need Microsoft Word. Uh, you need another program to hold the data. Here I'm using Excel. And as you can see, the way the data is laid out is in, is in a block. At the top, we have field names, words that sum up the information in that column. And each row is a record holding information about a different person. Uh, when you set up your data like this in Excel, or you can use a Word uh, table, or you can use data that's in uh, an Access database as well. But when you set up your data, you need to make sure you've got no blank rows or no blank columns. It doesn't matter if a field is empty like that one, uh, but you shouldn't have a whole blank row or a whole blank, blank column. Uh, also, one of the fields must hold email addresses. Uh, here I've put the email address of the machine I'm using for every record. Uh, in a real instance, uh, each row would have a different email address, the email address of the person uh, that that row referred to. Okay, so you need to use um, perhaps Excel or Access or a Word table to hold the data. I'm using Excel in this example. You also need Outlook to be open. You don't need it uh, maximized on the desktop or anything like that but if you open it uh, and then you can just minimize it the reason for that is when you use Word uh, to email stuff Word actually uses Outlook in turn to send the emails right to create the mail merge you go to the mailings um, tab here so it brings up the mailings ribbon I go to start mail merge and choose email messages then I need to tell it where the data is coming from so I'm going to click on select recipients use existing list then I'm just going to navigate to where my uh, data is in this case it's this addresses small Excel spreadsheet I'm going to be using so I've navigated to that and click on open there are three sheets in this spreadsheet I'm just choosing sheet one right I can then go to edit recipient list and when you do that you can actually see the records in your data source and you can take these ticks off if you want to uh, stop certain records from being used in the mail merge you can also use this little downward arrow here you can see all my items if I just zoom in a bit all my items are either tutor group A or C uh, and then I can use this drop down menu here to filter the data so I'm just going to choose A so now it's only showing records um, for uh, students who are in tutor group A in this example Okay click on OK and then to actually create the email what I do is type any text I want to be in there and then click on this button insert and merge field and choose the field that I want to insert as you can see it puts in a code I'm going to say uh, you are in tutor group and then I'm going to insert another field uh, there's a field called tutor group and I'm going to insert that put my name in I can check what this looks like by going to this button preview results so I can see what it looks like with the actual data itself and I can check uh, to make sure all the spacing is correct then to actually do the email we go to finish and merge over here I click on that and say I want to send email messages It brings up this dialog box if your uh, field that you hold emails in is called email it will probably find it automatically otherwise you change this top line here to the name of the field that holds the, hold the email addresses then you put in a subject line I'll just type in test and then click on OK and it's now doing the mail merge and if I open up Outlook you see here those emails have just come in that one and that one and that's email mail merge thanks for listening